start? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, so my name is Marina Zielke and um, I'm in charge of um, international exchange students. Um, yeah, working at the international office of Hochschule Darmstadt, University of Applied Sciences. Yeah, so any international student here on an exchange, you know, would deal with me, uh, but I'm very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, um, my name is Jessica. I'm the short-term programs coordinator. So if you want to study here for maybe four or three weeks during the summer or winter, um, yeah, I'm the one you get to meet. And um, yeah, so I also work in the international office. Yeah. Um, I've allowed it for you to share screen if you have any presentations you want to show. So yes. Second. That should be available. Let me know if you have any questions. We can get started. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So I hope it works. I hope you can all see my screen with the presentation. Can someone not? So I can know. <laughs> Working. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, we would like to tell you something about Hochschule Darmstadt, University of Applied Sciences. Um, all the options you have. Here, um, if you, and it's, it's not working, great. Okay, so now it should work, yeah. Um, all the options you have, if you wanna come here for an entire semester or for a shorter stay, um, but first of all, we want to present Darmstadt and um, tell you a little bit about our university. Um, you probably have never heard of Darmstadt before, or you might not know where it is. Um, it's located right, uh, basically in the center of Germany, in the Rhine-Main area. Um, here it's the, the gray part. Um, and here you can see all the cities that are part of the Rhine-Main area. Um, and because we have so many cities here, it's one of the main economic hubs here in Germany. So many large cities are close by, such as Frankfurt, or Wiesbaden, which is the capital of the state of Hessen, um, or Heidelberg, which you probably have heard of. Yeah, so it's all very close to Darmstadt. Um, Darmstadt has also a very high concentration of scientists, scientific institutions that all focus on a different um, research area. Uh, we have around 46,000 university students um, and more than 30 scientific institutions. Um, so Darmstadt is basically one of Germany's most important locations for research and development. And also, um, fun fact, one of the chemical elements was discovered here in Darmstadt, so that is called Darmstadtium. Yeah, and because everything I just said, Darmstadt is also called the city of science, and it's basically the only city of science here in Germany, so it's a great place to study, I think. Yeah, and Darmstadt is also home to very um, well-known uh, companies that all operate on a global scale, such as Merck, which is one of the leading pharmaceutical, scientific, um, science and technology companies, or telecom. Yeah, so having all these companies around here in Darmstadt means that our students can get a very good um, experience, work experience during their studies, and they also can apply the things they've learned in class to the real world outside of, of campus. <clears throat> yeah, and um, in the German city ranking, Darmstadt also ranked first in the future index for years now, um, because the, the city is at the forefront of innovation, creativity, and digitalization. And um, we even rank ahead of cities such as Berlin or Munich um, in certain research areas. And um, last year, Darmstadt even won the German-wide competition and is now called a digital city. Also, it's the only digital city um, here in Germany. And also, we take first place in the future in next 2030, um, which also means that Darmstadt offers the best conditions for economic prosperity. So again, if you ask me, it's the best place to study here in Germany. <laughs> okay, so um, now we're gonna talk um, a little bit about Hochschule Darmstadt, University of Applied Sciences. Um, we refer to it by HDA <laughs> or HDA <laughs> in German. 
And um, ah, can you? Yeah. So we have uh, 12 departments in total located um, in two different cities, actually, in Darmstadt and Dieburg. Dieburg uh, is a smaller campus um, and it hosts uh, business and the business and the media department. And in total, we have over 70 degree programs, both at the bachelor's and the master's uh, level. And we also have one um, PhD program. Uh, yeah, I think it's relatively new, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, I've only been working here for a year and a half, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, our key areas of study and research um, comprise um, engineering, of course, math and natural sciences, such as physics, engineering, electrical engineering and information technology, as well as uh, sociology or cultural sciences and social work, and um, architecture, media, such as animation and game and motion pictures, um, as well as design. And um, one thing that is uh, really special about Darmstadt is that um, we have that 20% of our students are actually international students. And that's, um, that's much more than the German average, which is only 10%. Um, so that gives it a very yeah, international feel to the campus. So that's quite nice. Yeah. And um, yeah, we have more than 130 partner universities in more than 40 countries. So. Uh, we do get a lot of exchange students as well from these partner universities and um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice feel to it. And then, um, okay, so what is a University of Applied Sciences? Uh, just by the title, you can guess that um, it's more practice oriented and um, a special thing about Universities of Applied Sciences is that um, professors have to have at least five years of hands-on experience in their field meaning they have worked uh, yeah, with companies and, and they really know what they're doing, right? And you can put it uh, into practice. Um, and in general, um, the entire university as well as individual professors usually um, have ties or are linked to regional and international companies. So um, there's always a chance to sort of, you know, if, uh, you know get a scholar, uh, not a scholarship, an internship or you know, have some practical insight into a company. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so there's two types of exchange, exchange programs available. And um, one is the classical study abroad semester or exchange semester that could be, you know, one or two semesters ranging from five to 10 months. And then we also have short-term programs. I will talk about um, the semester or the, the, the classical study abroad semester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a little effect on, <laughs> on the presentation. And um, okay, just so you know, um, these are our semester dates. Um, we have two semesters, um, sometimes referred to as uh, terms. We say semesters. Um, and they run from October to mid-March and April to mid-September, although the end date is a little flexible because with 12 departments, each department sort of, um, some departments end um, or finish their classes uh, earlier than others. So sometimes you're done by, by the end of February or by the end of August. So this is really somewhat, you know, specific to the department, but roughly these would be the semester times. And um, we have classes taught in English as well as in German. And our English taught classes uh, include um, animation and film, such as animation and game and motion pictures, um, business, computer sciences and, and data, um, analytical data studies, um, design and engineering, um, yeah, most notably electrical and mechanical and plastics engineering. And our social work department also offers English taught classes. Um, there's some in, uh, English taught classes also in other fields of studies in other, at other departments. And of course, you can also come here and study in German. Um, and we have German classes, of course, and we have what's called, oh, it's a very long term in German. <laughs> uh, might be not as long as in English. Um, sort of interdisciplinary classes taught in English. Um, about, you know, 
for instance, about, you know, uh, co Corona, the Corona crisis, stuff like that. And they're open to, to each and every one of our students. So it doesn't depend, uh, on, it doesn't depend on the department uh, you're studying at. Yeah. And um, yeah, so um, in order to make things a little easier for people that are interested in studying with us, uh, we provide assistance with, you know, finding classes, uh, finding accommodation. We have um, a couple of uh, rooms, uh, pre-booked rooms for our students. So these are set. And then we also offer information on other types of accommodation. If you, for some reason, you know, don't feel like living in a, in a residence hall, um, which sometimes happens. I <laughs> um, also, we help uh, with the visa process and also like boring things like taking out a health insurance plan. It has to be done. It sounds boring, but it's very important. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I help students to get the details right and, you know, things like that. And um, yeah, in general, we help uh, students prepare for Darmstadt in Germany on, on many levels, so on the boring administrative matters, but also on the more intellect, uh, well, intellectually challenging or intercultural uh, yeah, things that they need to know. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a one month orientation program or welcome and orientation program uh, where we discuss yeah, different things such as red tape, as I just hinted on. Um, we also do fun stuff and um, we also provide German uh, pre-semester German classes. So they take place within the orientation phase or the orientation month. And then we have other German classes that are taught throughout the semester. Um, so you really have the chance to up your German uh, skills a lot during your time here. And um, for instance, uh, just an example for the fun stuff that we do together. Uh, this, these are photos from one of our trips uh, to Marburg. Marburg is uh, also located in Hessen. It's beautiful. It has, I think you can tell it's very German. <laughs> Looks very German. <laughs> to me and uh, yeah, that was just uh, yeah, a nice day trip that we took and uh, yeah, we had a great time. That's another example of uh, what we do. We were uh, decorating gingerbread cookies, heart-shaped uh, gingerbread cookies. And then some students would, you know, would write Darmstadt with a little heart on them or, you know, or just, you know, uh, be creative and then other students were a little more um, cynical took a more cynical approach <laughs> but that's that's fine as well we had a good laugh so yeah <laughs> yeah and uh, i think students i think of course one of the most important questions of course is okay am i able to afford this how much does it cost it sounds nice but can you please tell me about the financial side of things and and just to get to give students an idea, this is what you should, um, yeah, what you should uh, plan on spending more or less per month. So it would be, yeah, a thousand euros per month. Although, as you can see, food and clothing or leisure activities could be more, could be less. That's really up to the student. So it could be a little less even. And then there's also two, um, two one-time payments. Uh, one is the semester administrative fee. It gives you your student ID and as well as your travel pass or public transportation ticket. And also um, usually in Germany, you pay um, a housing deposit. You, usually it's one month, one monthly rent, uh, but you get it back of course. So it's not really a payment. It's just, you know, <laughs> a deposit. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, 22, um, uh, 220 euros, um, the 220 euros for your campus card include um, a travel pass that is valid um, throughout almost all of the state of Hessen. So that's, that's a great fare, believe me, because public transport in Germany is rather expensive. But um, with your campus card, you have, you have, yeah, you can use any bus, train or tram. Uh, regional trains as well from one city to to the other for free for the entire semester and that's if 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 you're not a student and you you would want to buy a travel pass like that it would probably be in the hundreds pr probably se seven or eight hundred euros so it's really it's not really a semester fee because 
you get a lot of discounts. You also get a lot of discounts in, uh, in theaters or in the movie theaters, in, in clubs. Um, I think you can rent a bike for free. Is that correct? Yes. And um, yeah, and many more discounts. So it's really, yeah, it's really uh, cheap. And actually, um, I think it originated in Darmstadt. So at, in the 80s, in the 80s, students in Darmstadt sort of, you know, grouped up together and decided that they were going to sort of uh, have a deal with the local transport uh, companies and ask for this ticket. And then it's been established uh, all over Germany. And this is really, it's a very German thing to, yeah. And I think, I think exchange students benefit a lot from it. Because you really, you, you don't only get to see Darmstadt, you get to see quite a bit. And you can just go to Frankfurt on the weekend or just even for the night, it's 18 minutes uh, uh, by regional train. So, yeah. Yeah, so some hard facts. <laughs> um, yeah, so we will provide uh, the presentation later and then you, you can click on the link. Um, there's an online application and these are the deadlines, uh, 1st of May for winter semesters and then 1st of November for spring semesters. Of course, students have to be nominated by their home university first. <laughs> uh, so pre-selected by their, by their home university. Yeah, and these are some links for, you know, general information on classes, also the academic calendar. And uh, yeah, my email address. So, you know, whatever question comes to mind, just, you know, write me an email and I'm happy to help. Yeah. And then, uh -huh, we have a little video also that sums up a little bit of, uh, yeah, what, what I just said. And it's pretty new, so we're, yeah, we're happy to present it. Can you hear it? No, we're not getting the sound. I think when you share, and I, I learned this this morning, there oh. is a button in the lower left corner when you hit the share button that allows you to click on it and it shares the computer audio as well. So when you hit that Ooh. green share button. The, wait, 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 wait. Uh, the green share button? Well, on the Zoom. Ah, uh, on the Zoom. On the Zoom. Unten in der Zoom-Leiste. Ja. Da ist doch dieses Bildschirm freigeben in grün. Oder? Ich bin schon in der Freigabe. Ah. Äh. Hm. I have no idea how that works. Here, may I? I let me share. Okay. Do you want well, me no, to... Well, no. I can't share what I want to show you. Um, when, uh, unshare, unshare. <laughs> unshare, okay. Unshare, yeah. Okay, now hit the share button, but don't actually share with us, just where it lets you pick your screen. Okay. Now down in the left-hand corner is a button that says share. Oh, yeah, share. I can see yes. it, I can see it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, where is the, here's the, okay. Ooh. Let's start again. Germany, she wait, thinks wait, of wait, cities wait. like... Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? No. Here. Okay. Is it working? This is Sarah. Sarah would like to study abroad for a semester. Germany may be an option for her, but she is not sure which city she would choose. When she thinks of Germany, she thinks of cities like Berlin, Munich, Hamburg, Frankfurt, or Cologne. But she has not heard of Darmstadt so far. Darmstadt is located right in the center of the Rhine-Main region. The Rhine-Main region is one of the main economic hubs of Europe and one of the most cosmopolitan regions in Germany. Large cities such as Frankfurt, Wiesbaden, Mainz and Heidelberg are very close to Darmstadt. Or as we say in German, they are only a cat's jump away, nur einen Katzensprung entfernt. From Darmstadt, you can easily reach other cities in Germany and Europe by bus, train or plane. Plus, Frankfurt Airport is only about 30 minutes away. Darmstadt itself has plenty to offer as well. 
beautiful buildings, as well as a vibrant culture and nightlife. Also, Darmstadt is the only city of science in Germany. It is home to many well-known research-oriented companies and research institutes. Companies such as Merck, Evonik Röhm and Telekom, which operate on a global scale, are located here as well. So what does this mean? It means that Darmstadt ranks first in the so-called Future Index 2030, placing ahead of Berlin, Munich and Hamburg. Most importantly though, Darmstadt is a friendly city where you can meet people from all over the world. This is why Darmstadt University of Applied Sciences, or HDA as we say, attracts many students from other countries. In fact, about 20% of our students are international students. Classes here are practically oriented and our professors have many years of hands-on experience in their field. Our study programs range from engineering and business to design and media. What is more, HDA wants to protect the environment. This is why we are constantly creating sustainable technologies and products. For this, HDA has been called an outstanding place of learning for sustainable development by the UNESCO Commission. After your arrival, we will help you get settled at HDA and in Darmstadt. During our orientation days, you will learn about student and campus life and we will help you with your visa application. We will also take trips to beautiful sites in and around Darmstadt. You don't need to have any knowledge of German when you get here, but you are very welcome to take part in our German classes. If you'd like to study with us, just turn to the international office of your home university and ask whether they have a cooperation with us. We look forward to hosting you as an exchange student here at HDA. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I clicked something. <laughs> Okay, so um, if for any reason you cannot come or don't want to study here for one semester, you also have the option to come here for three or four weeks in the summer or in the winter. Um, we do offer an international summer university. Um, next year, hopefully, and I'm yeah keeping my fingers crossed that <laughs> we no longer live in a pandemic. <laughs> Um, the International Summer University will take place from June 13 to July 10. And the academic module is on in transition to a pure green energy economy. So it's for business students focusing on energy management um, or also electrical engineering students. Um, but if you want to come here and study, for example, English literature, write me an email. We also had students um, before uh, taking part in the International Summer University who didn't have a background in that specific field. So we try to accommodate all people um, who want to come here. Um, so you take an academic module for four weeks and you also take a German language course because I think it's great to learn the, the language, it's part of our culture and I think it's so nice to see how proud the students are when they um, can order a coffee or a bread <laughs> at a bakery in German. So that makes me proud and the students are proud. Um, besides the academic module and the German language course, we offer lots of free time activities such as uh, the climbing park, we go hiking, um, we have a retro games night, we have an international picnic. And um, for example, the bigger picture here with the group um, is during our welcome dinner. We have a welcome dinner at a German restaurant and enjoy German food together, together on our first night. Um, so that's always a fun, fun activity. Um, also, of course, since you're spending four weeks here in Darmstadt, we want to show you Hessen and a little bit of Germany. So we go to Rüdesheim, which is located in the Rhine River Valley. The picture on the right shows one of our students from two years ago, um, right above the, the vineyards of the Rhine River Valley. So it's a beautiful trip. Um, I enjoy it every time. And of course, Heidelberg, which is only like 45 minutes away and uh, the biggest city in Hessen, we also go to Frankfurt. Um, you can earn nine European credits for that course, and um, I don't know how transferring the credits works, but this is something you can talk to your study abroad office about, um, but you can receive nine credits from us. We also offer a winter university program, and due to the pandemic, this time it will be uh, yeah, an online program. 
taking place from January 3rd until the 23rd, um, 2021. We do have two modules, International Marketing and Sales and Digital Societies, which is very fitting <laughs> for the current um, situation. Um, again, you have an academic module and a German language course. We offer like an online virtual treasure hunt, a campus tour and welcome and closing ceremony all online. Um, and since it's a bit shorter, it's only three weeks, you can earn six European credits. If we're not living in a pandemic, of course, we're offering the winter, uni winter university program uh, from face to face. Um, so we usually include a New Year celebration in Darmstadt and also um, different excursions and free time activities such as ice skating. Um, yeah, and climb, not a climbing park, but inside climbing, <laughs> indoor rock climbing. Yeah, so this is something we offer um, when you get here. So hopefully in 2022, uh, we can welcome um, all of you back in Darmstadt from face to face. Um, yeah, and to give you an idea what the program is about and how it's structured, we also have a short video and it, hopefully it works. Let me know if you hear something. We are very proud to offer this international program for international students. I thought it's quite interesting because of the location. Darmstadt is a peaceful city, I would say. The individual benefits for students are multifold. Well, it's a short-time program. Nevertheless, to get all the international experience we would like young people to get without losing any time. What I really like the most about this program is that I learn a lot about different cultures and countries. Additionally to the international aspect, there's also the educational aspect. The case study about international market was really, really fun for me. We combine theory with hands-on experience. We work with a company, so it's like real experience. The most memorable thing from this trip will be going to like excursions, meeting with the people we are, just seeing the various different types of cultures. Going to the main tower, looking throughout Frankfurt from a very high level. We had like a lot of downtime and free time to explore on our own. We had fun time where we went rock climbing, different things like that. So those were all really great bonding experience to get to better know um, the people that we were in the program with. It is benefit for us as well to have them here and to understand their cultures. Understanding other cultures is definitely something that's super important. People are coming together and learn to work together. That may help in order to understand some topics even better if people go back and uh, continue their, their studies. I can use my issues, we learn in class and translate it to back at home, you know. We are looking forward to offer it uh, for the next year and uh, we welcome every student from all over the world. All right, and what I forgot to mention is the virtual winter university. It's actually free of charge, so no program fee. Um, and for the summer university, we can offer scholarships. But um, yeah, once all the information is available, I will send it to the study abroad office and um, they find all the information. Oh, wait. All right. So, Danke. <laughs> Danke means thank you in German. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, um, we hear. <laughs> well, one thing I do want to say is um, students here at Platteville, um, if you're interested in studying abroad or participating in the exchange program with the Hochschule Darmstadt, um, you do need to be nominated, like they have said. Um, so you'll actually work with me in the International Programs Office. You'll do an application for us, um, and then we will nominate you onto the uh, International Office at Darmstadt, and we'll share information um, that you've submitted to us. So what you're submitting to us, you'll be you may have to upload into their application as well, but you do need to start with our office first. Um, and to let you know too, um, tuition and fees, um, you will pay UW-Platteville tuition and fees. Um, 
so you will not be charged uh, tuition from from Darmstadt, um, but you will have to pay for the the fees that we showed earlier that they showed earlier on uh, the the pr presentation um, directly to them um, or to their housing, however it's set up. Um, so just wanted to let you know about that as well. And you can come and ask, um, come in and see me at any time or Zoom me uh, to if you have any questions. Um, you probably noticed earlier on it that the fall semester actually starts in October and then goes into, what was it in March? So uh, uw Platteville student, if you're interested in just going for a semester, it will have to be in your spring semester. Um, just because it, it fall, the fall, their first semester goes into um, our uh, second semester here. Um, otherwise, if you're looking at going for an academic year that's different, you could start, uh, do the fall semester in uh, Darmstadt, uh, their first semester, and then follow it through through the end of their second semester. Is there any questions from anybody? I can tell you personally, um, I was in Darmstadt uh, a couple years ago in December, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I can't wait to go back. I'm looking forward to hopefully going back. And the public transportation was very, it, it was easy to get used to. Um, and then I, I, have, I speak no German, so I, I did find it easy to communicate um, to, to people. Um, in the shops and whatnot, um, there, was a, there would always be someone there that if the person you were trying to ask a question wasn't as fluent in English, there usually still was someone around that could help you. So I did find it very easy to uh, get around the mm -hmm. city. Yeah, you're absolutely, there's no need for a car. There's buses at night, like you can go partying to Frankfurt and then you know, go back to Darmstadt at night. <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, that's, that's really great. Yeah. Once I, once I was on the train system um, and experienced a couple rides, I was like, oh, this is, this is a piece of cake. It was wonderful. I'm like, why don't we have that here? I, I really did enjoy it. So. Yeah, I mentioned it specifically because um, I was told that a lot by students mm -hmm. from the U.S. Uh, they were awestruck, to be honest. They were, mm -hmm. <laughs> they were in yeah. awe. Um, yeah because you can just hop on the bus and you get everywhere and you don't, you know, it's really, it's really easy. And then you never have to worry about tickets or fares because you have your semester ticket. So, yeah. yeah. I, I had a student last summer, no, two summers ago, 2018. And he said, well, that's my first time riding a train. And um, yeah, he was, yeah, in awe. <laughs> it was, it was great. He loved it. And it was not as scary as he thought it would be. And yeah, so he liked it. Yeah. And getting back and forth from Frankfurt is very easy. Um, when I got off the, it, when I got off the plane in the Frankfurt airport, I went to a bus and, and I can't remember the name of the bus. Um, airliner. 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 Air, yes, airliner. the airliner. And it was just find it, get on it. And it just brought you straight to, um, to Darmstadt, it was, I found it very, very easy, or um, it wasn't very complicated to try and figure my way around, so. Yeah. That's what I think too, I, I, I didn't grow up here, I moved to Darmstadt, so things were kind of new for me as well. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it is and how well you get by and how well you know you get from one city to the other um, yeah and just to let you know students um, the ETC credits to US credits it is about a two to one ratio so two ECTs equals about one US credit um, part of your application process through our office will be working with your advisor um, to complete a international course approval form. So you'll take a list of courses um, that you wish to take at Darmstadt. Um, you'll list those on the form, what the credits are worth. You'll work with your advisor to see what courses would correspond to something back here at uw Platteville. Um, you will then work with the department. You will have to have that signed off by your advisor. Um, major minor related courses by the department chair for each of the uh, 
for whatever uh, it is, the field of study it is, and then also gen eds, you'll go to the School of Education and get those signed off. Um, so it's, that's probably the, the most um, part of the application process that might take a little bit of time, but it isn't, it is actually a really important thing to get done ahead of time so that way when your courses come back, uh, the transcript comes back from Domstadt, um, you'll, you'll, be, uh, you'll feel comfortable that they'll transcribe onto your transcript um, with no problem. The, um, I just want to say the gen eds actually um, have to be signed off by Amanda Tucker. Okay, thank remember. you. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Katie. I was like, I am going to struggle on that one, but I know someone <laughs> no will problem. speak up. <laughs> yep. And it's always best to get it done before you actually mm -hmm. go abroad. Um, sometimes if students change while they're there, they can get it configured when they're there. Um, but if they wait until they get back, it's more difficult um, to do so. So it's always great to get as much done prior. So. Is there any other questions out there right now? Since we have uh, the captive, we have Jessica uh, Marina, uh, captive. Um, any specific <laughs> questions? Um, even about just John Stott in general? Pretty quiet today. Well, if not, I'm going to say thank you so much for joining us. Um, Thanks for having us. Yes, Thanks for having us. Please send me your presentations. I'll send you this as well so you could see, watch how we went today. And um, mm -hmm. please let me know if there's anything that our office and myself can do um, for you to uh, promote Platteville to your students to come mm -hmm. here. Um, it's always fun when our students go there and come back. And I, I love meeting your students when they come to Platteville as well. So. Mm -hmm. Um, please let me know if there's anything I can do as well for you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yes. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the fair. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. You. And stay healthy. Yeah. Most okay. importantly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, thank you so much, Danka. All righty. All righty. Um, goodbye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.